everyone, and thanks for joining us on The Real Estate Podcast. I'm Tori Sokol, and today's episode is all about open house marketing. Todd Subney is joined by Shannon Quagliata of Pre-Open House, who is going to dig into the Pre-Open House platform and explain how that tool can help you market your listings, draw more attention to your open houses, sell homes fast and at top dollar, and ultimately end up winning more listings. Keep listening. You won't want to miss this one. All right. Good morning, everyone. I'm Todd Sumney, the Chief Industry Officer for HomeSmart International. And we are here today on this webinar to talk about open house marketing. We're going to talk specifically about strategies and tactics and technology that can help you sell homes faster, sell them for top dollar, but more importantly, uh, potentially ways of simplifying the way home buyers find and attend open houses. And what that means is more traffic to your open houses, more eyeballs on your open houses. And it really does fit the, fill a need that we have as real estate professionals about how do we market the listings that we have? How do we win more listings by catching other homeowners' attention and watching how fast we sell homes and how we sell them for top dollars. So today, whole goal today is to help you do more transactions. And we're going to talk about those strategies and tactics here. So, but I'm not alone today here in the studio. I want to um, give a warm welcome real quick to Shannon Quagliata. Shannon is with Pre Open House, but more importantly, you are also a realtor and have been a realtor for many years and you've done many open houses many transactions and um and that's where a lot of these strategies are going to come from that we're going to dig into today Mm -hmm. so uh shannon thank you for being here today thank you for having me all right uh let's talk open house marketing before we do i want to find out a little bit about you though okay tell me about you how long have you been in real estate how long have you been a realtor um Give us a little bit about your story. Okay. Um, I've been a realtor in Arizona for 12 plus years. Um, I got my license in 2007 and I began real estate right (laughs) when the market crashed and joined a couple brokerages and tried to figure out how to, how to do everything. Um, Ended up getting on with a HUD listing agent um, that needed a buyer agent. So essentially I was working with, buyers who were calling on HUD listings, uh, okay. essentially, you know, bank owned, bank owned. So drove all around the Valley, got to learn a lot about the Valley, um, was selling up to 10 to 12, 15 homes a month to investors. And then when they, when the market came back, all the investors put their homes back on the market and decided to sell them. So wow. I'm not I'm doing the much. math. That's yeah, a lot so of homes. That's a lot of homes. Lot of and homes. I was really, really busy driving all over Arizona. I didn't even know how to get to Glendale until 2011, but right. do now. I right. know the ins and outs of everywhere. Right. Um, so, but really after the market came back and um, I began more of a listing agent um, platform where I was getting more listings, I decided to hold more open houses. And that's really how I found how easy it was to get new clients. I didn't have the marketing dollars to spend on all the real estate platforms. And so I found that holding open houses was the easiest way to get in front of buyers and convert them in person as opposed to. Okay. Everybody that's listening. I did not pay her to say that, but we no, I, this, I harp on this a lot okay. because yep. I've actually interviewed the top 150, like, or tried to interview as many of them as I could, but the top listing agents in the whole company, agents who had the most listings. Yes. And the one common denominator was always, always open house marketing. Even if they weren't sitting open houses, somebody was sitting there open houses Absolutely. and they were marketing open houses, you know, before, during, after, and the one thing that always came through from everyone is open house gets you face to face more with the community, and it is a great way to just build your business, build your name, build your name, build your name. Yeah. When people are looking for an open house, or when people, when sellers are looking for 
somebody to sell their home and they don't have a friend that has a realtor or they don't know anybody and they're driving through the neighborhood and all of a sudden they see you and your open house signs every weekend and they see you working to sell this house. They go, wow, that agent's really working. Maybe we'll go in and meet her. And right. I, I've met more neighbors and I've had three homes on the same street for sale at a time mm -hmm. by the neighbors coming in and meeting me at the open house. Right. So um, right. a lot of agents say, well, I don't want to work with buyers. I just want to work with listing agent or I'm a listing agent. And you're not just going to get buyers at open houses. You're going to get listings because oh, you're you going to get sellers coming in to meet you as a realtor, they get to know you, they realize you know the neighborhood. So before you hold an open house, you want to know everything about the schools and what everything's selling for in the neighborhood, what actives there are, what's pending, what the houses look like that are pending, right. how they compare and all of that. And when somebody comes in and you have that market knowledge, they immediately will say, hey, why don't you come look at my house after your open house? We're thinking about listing. Right. And if I had a dollar for every time that happened, I mean, it was really, right, right. really amazing. And so I think, I think agents really discount the benefit of an open house. And for agents that don't really have a brand yet and don't have the money to spend on the big, um, the uh, bigger real estate platforms, uh, it's just a great way to get in front of buyers. I would agree. But then sellers. even, but then even for, you know, a seasoned agent like yourself, mm -hmm. it is a great way to just put the accelerator down, do more uh, transactions, do more business, build your brand, build your name. And um, again, I didn't um, urge you to say any of this. It's really <laughs> ironic because here you are, you're a top agent uh -huh. and this is what you're doing. And so, um, because I, I try to espouse everything that you just said, or I try to talk about everything you just said that it, I believe everything that, that you were talking about. So, Awesome. Okay. So um, when you're generating open houses or you're working on um, open houses and you're using it to try to sell the home, build your business, reach more home sellers in the area, et cetera, there naturally in the industry, there's some barriers that come up every now and then. Yes. And there's needs for certain things in the industry. So can you tell me a little bit about your story, what you experienced when you were doing a whole pen houses? What did you create to help you overcome those barriers, you know, et cetera? Yep. To I, be more effective um, as an open house yeah. marketer. Well, exactly. So I was holding um, a lot of open houses a couple of years ago. I had multiple houses on the market. I had multiple things come up. Um, I had agents or I had multiple clients of mine ask me to hold an open house on the same day because I had so many houses on the market. And so I had a hard time having finding available agents. And you're agents. a single agent, right? And you I'm a single agent. A so I had a really hard time finding other agents to hold my open houses. Mm -hmm. And then when I could find them to hold my open houses, and I was actually busy with another open house, there was nowhere that I could put that agent online as a direct point of contact for the home buyer. So in a gated neighborhood or in um, a community that was harder to find, or that had road construction going into the back gate, so you had to go in the front gate or vice versa, there was nowhere for me to put that open house agent online as a point of contact. Right. So I would be out with a buyer and I would be getting phone calls from people at a gate that couldn't get in. We don't have the gate code, where are you? Your, ho your open house agent isn't answering the door. It could be in the bathroom, you don't know. And I'm getting all these calls and I'm like, gosh, why can I not just put this agent's name online? Right. And why can't I find the agent holding somebody else's open house? So I was, that's a bigger thing. It's not only for the consumer, it's for the realtor. Totally. I can't even find out who's holding the open house and I want to contact them about something. And right. half of the time I would contact the listing agent, they wouldn't even know who's holding their open right. house. Right. So I was just like, this is just a mess. No, it know? is. And actually, and <laughs> um, just real quick, I read an article, I think I want to say, was it? Uh, let's see, Foothills, Foothills magazine, magazine just uh -huh. recently and you were yep, kind of yep. telling that story about yeah, yeah. the gate code and everything and then I think you were also on the news last night yep, here yeah, Saturday, morning, Saturday, Phoenix, morning. Saturday morning or Saturday morning okay all right but you know that gate code incident that's a that's a big one um, I was mm -hmm. doing a session the other day a marketing class we were talking about open house marketing one of the agents was talking about her frustration of sitting in open house behind behind a gated Yes. community and you know because you really can't just post that gate code out there right nope and you know can't so put it anywhere tell everyone how you get around it 
So you cannot put a gate code online, right. you cannot put it on your listing. You right. can't put it anywhere. And now you can't even put it on the keypad to mm -hmm. get in because for some reason neighbors will pull it down. So you right. have frustrated buyers at the gate trying to get in the gate with no information. So therefore people so need therefore, to call you. So therefore people need to call you, but you're the open the house code. agent and mm -hmm. you're the listing agent. And half of the time you can't find either online. You can't right. find the listing agent or the open house agent unless that agent is actually paying these other websites a lot of money. Right. So that also poses a frustration on the buyer side. So now on our website, agents are only branded to themselves. The listing agent is branded as well as the open house agent. So a listing agent can assign an open house agent as a direct point of contact. And in a gated neighborhood, it will say contact agent for gate code. And all they do is send, they say, I need the gate code, an instant message will go to that agent in real time, right. which is something that we have actually a patent pending on. We have real time communication with a home buyer. So they can message that agent gets ping notification, I need the gate code. They instantly send them the gate code that they could be at the gate and they could get the gate code within two seconds. So. That's amazing. Okay, yeah. so let's back up just for a second. So to mm -hmm. set the stage here. So um, this high volume of open houses, yes. all of these barriers you were running into and needing to have these tactics to get around them, it caused you to open up a company called Pre Open House, yes. right? And so curious, uh, let's dig into all the details about Pre and everything okay. that you just said. But I'm curious, where did the name come from? So pre open house came from uh, we've we've actually gone through a couple uh, names for different um, you know we had a couple of names in the beginning but well, even more just what did it mean to you well like, so as a pre realtor, so like pre open house I wanted a way for the first time because I could never pre market the property right so there's a lot of benefits to pre marketing a listing prior to it going on the market so what I had happen a lot is I would have a client say hey I want the house on the market on I want to put it on the market on Saturday and I'm like well we can't get the photographer out until Monday and you know as a listing agent you don't ever want to put a house on the market without the photos okay. um, so I'm like God, it'd be great if I could hold an open house this weekend and get some you know, some feedback prior to it going on the market. The photographer comes Monday, I put it on the market the following weekend, but right. I didn't miss that weekend of buyers, right? right? And there was no platform for me to do that. So we can now pre-market a pre-MLS coming soon property and we can hold an open house for it. Right, right. Which, and that's how the name came up. Right, so up on the screen here, we have uh, your website, um, pre-open house yep. up there. And I think the URL is preopenhouse.com. Yep. Is that correct? Yes. And um, walk everybody. Why don't you take over? Why don't you live drive a little bit? Okay. Let's talk about, let's talk about, okay. In marketing, I often talk about push pull strategies. Yes. You know, you've got consumer marketing and you're kind of, um, you know, pushing the consumer in and then you're pulling the consumer in through an agent, you know, portal application. So there's tools for both the consumer, there's tools for the realtor. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about both of those things. Go online, show them about the website because the website is very consumer facing, right? Yes. And then the agent is. where they sign in is where the agent um, tools are and that's where the push pull comes from, right? Right, exactly. So, so I'm logged in as a realtor, but I haven't gone into the agent platform yet. Okay. So this right. is essentially what a consumer sees. Okay. Kind of has a video on how it works. Um, we are now doing no pressure. We did a national survey of home buyers um, on a national scale, and the home buyers said, for one, that they would attend more open houses if they had one place to find them, mm -hmm. and that they would attend more open houses if they could just go in and not be pressured with having to share their personal information with somebody that they haven't really met yet. So we kind of changed all of that. Not only do we have all the open houses on the MLS and any coming soons, as you'll see in purple, that aren't on the MLS, uh, but we also allow consumers that they create an account with an email address and a phone number, mm -hmm. um, but they can now ask questions, check into an open house, and get you to have an instant line of communication with that home buyer without them having to share their email address and phone number. It's, and it's now up to them. You can ask for it, and if they want to give it to you, that's great. But if they don't... So in a way, this kind of hits right in the middle because before, if somebody came through, they didn't want to share their phone number and their email, they just left and you lost contact. Yes. If you get their phone number and their email, obviously you have that, and then 
you know, you try to work that. But this kind of splits the middle a little bit because the customer can engage, can ask questions for one week, two weeks, three weeks, as long mm -hmm. as they want. Yes. And they're engaging with you. So it's not like you lost them out the door. You just don't have their exactly. contact information. And then they'll share their contact information when they're ready. Yes. So let's loop back on that at the end because I know some agents will probably have some questions on that. But yes. did I describe that correctly? You That's did, how that works. which is a great way now. How many times there are a lot of other apps that you can have a consumer come in and enter their email address and phone number, mm -hmm. but how often are those correct? Not probably very often. They might put something in, but they just might change a letter or a number. That's what all my buyers are like. Oh, we always put the wrong email address and we just miss a number on the phone number, but we register, right? right. Well, here, if they check in and create an account and they check into your open house, regardless of the email address and phone number, you instantly have communication with them. So right. you can contact them. It has to be correct. Communicate Otherwise, with they're them. not getting the information they want. No, no, it doesn't. Because right. if they download the app and they create an account and they check into your open house, you now have an instant messaging platform. With right, them, right. That's regardless what I mean. of their email address or phone number. Right. So now they can, you, you can now communicate gotcha. with them after they leave. Okay. Say, hey, it was a pleasure meeting you. If you want my help. And then maybe if something comes up that you knew they're interested in, you could message them another day and be like, hey, remember meeting me? A neighbor Another came home. in and wants to sell his house and it has a pool. If you're interested, shoot me your email address and I'll send you a copy of the listing. Right. It just puts the control back in the buyer's hand, but it also puts the control in the realtor's hand because now they have communication with every person that walks in right. as opposed to just the people that decided to give them their contact information. Right. So okay. it's a really great way, win-win for both sides. Got it. So, All right, keep on going. Okay, I'll so, so this is um, the search. And this is what it looks like today in Maricopa County. It is a Tuesday. So over the weekend, um, on Labor Day weekend, we had close to 600 open houses on the platform, Maricopa County. Right. Um, we had a lot, of, a lot of open houses on here. So well, especially because it, uh, it was actually a big weekend. It it's was a, a holiday weekend. weekend, weekend right? so and we yes, yeah. Monday, yesterday we had What's this. the difference between purple and green? Okay, so up here, if you look at the legend, um, the, the teal is open houses. The, the purple are coming soon pre-market listings, which means when a consumer comes to this platform, they are looking for purple right now, especially in a hot buyer's market like we are right, right now where there isn't really a lot of inventory. Correct. Um, so this house, for example, um, is not on the market yet. Um, there's another one up here. Gotcha. But this, just to clarify yes. for everyone what you're seeing on the screen, there was so many more open houses just yesterday oh, yeah. uh, and that's what happens so when an open house goes on it's over now it falls yes. off and then to put it back on for the next week again you have to put it back on or can you make it an open house run for more than one weekend you can or make it work? an open house um, what I am training agents to do so we've never really been able to put an open house on a week early and capture leads for a week because on the other real estate platforms they're really not branded to you. So you really don't want to put it on too early. Otherwise your open house leads could be gone before your open house. Nobody gotcha. should show up because they're gone. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the thing about this is if you put your open house on two weeks early, um, I would put it on there. I mean, a lot of open house training says, Oh, put your open house on two weeks early and get buyers. So they know they can add it to their list and then they can schedule it. The problem is it's not branded to you. And if they have any questions, it won't go to you. So this is an example of, this house is on a week early. And so if a consumer comes here and they click on it, they will contact the open house agent. Correct. Okay. So I don't want to go gloss over that. Yep. Because that's actually huge. That's huge. Everything yes. you just said. Yes. Really And good. I actually heard um, someone describe something the other day and they said, the web portals mm -hmm. reach millions of consumers. Yes. But they are marketing the web portal. They yes. are not marketing your property. Right. And in this case, you are more marketing this property and you are front and center at all times. Yep. All information, all leads go to you. Yes. Instead of like you said, they're going out to someone else who um, I guess maybe they could contact, talk about that and, and maybe they never show up at your open house, right? Well, they might be contacting so, saying, hey, I'm not available Sunday. Can I come by Saturday? Right. Well, it's not going to go to you unless you're actually paying right. a lot, which a lot of agents aren't um, right. able to do so. A lot of the top producing agents are, but right. most of them aren't. And so that agent's going to show it to them Saturday. 
gotcha. and then they're not going to show up Sunday, right? So, so those kinds of things. How does this work if you are a listing agent and yep. then you have the buyer's agent now yes. and you're marketing at a week early? Yep. So when that lead comes through, does that lead go to you, the listing agent, or does it go to the buyer's agent? So a listing agent can actually put the open house on as early as they want to, and the day of the open house, they can assign an open house agent. I oh, understand. So they could get all the leads for two weeks, and then the morning of, let's say it's Saturday morning, they could switch it over to the open house agent. Okay. And that way on a Saturday, that open house agent is a direct point of contact for the home buyer. And it's okay. really that day is when home buyers might be lost or they're running late or they can't get in a gate or anything and they want to communicate with the agent in the house. Um, and that's why that day is so key to have a contact of the person in the house or another agent might want to contact that open house agent as well and say, gotcha. Hey, by the way, my clients are going to stop by, but are you going to be there for another 15 minutes? You yep. know, it's great to be able to do that. If you contact the listing agent and they're not the open house agent, they're not, they're probably not going to respond or they're not going to know. Right. 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 So, um, okay. and, uh, there's a lot of instances that I have come across where it would have been nice as a real estate agent to know who the open house agent was. Right. Um, not only as a home buyer, right. but as another agent. So, okay. um, right. yeah, so that is, um, the, uh, the reason for that. So gotcha. Okay. Keep on going. I'll quit okay. interrupting. Okay, so this is, so we have every open house that is actually pulled in from the MLS. So if you put it in the MLS, it will directly feed to our site. If you wanted to put it on our site two weeks early, because it is only branded to us, remember if you put it in the MLS, it goes to all the platforms. If you put it on our site only, it will only go to our site. We do not feed to all the other platforms, but when you put it in the MLS, mm -hmm. it will also feed into our site. So you right. could put it on our site early, and then maybe three days before your open house, I'd put it in the MLS and then it'll feed to all the big platforms. But I wouldn't really put it in the MLS earlier than that unless you are really a high, you know, you're actually paying for all of your leads on all these platforms. Um, and there are many sites out there, as people know, that you can't even buy your leads. So, um, so that's something. And so it, with a property that is, you could actually create your own um open house. So th this is how you would actually be able to put your house on as an open house. Um, you can add an event on any property. You can create the date, the time. Um, you can talk about it a little bit on what you want to say about the open house. And then you can assign it to yourself. You can assign it to anybody in your brokerage to hold open. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can also assign it to a specific agent. Okay. You can, if you only assign it to yourself, it will be assigned your point of contact, only branded to you. Um, and then the day of, you could go in here, you could edit it, and you could assign it to a specific agent. And then that agent is now the open house agent. Right. It's that easy. Yep. Um, if the house is not on the market yet, you would go here. And this is how you would add a coming soon listing. So gotcha. you can actually add a pre-MLS that is not on the market yet. And then that will go yeah. live. And then the minute that goes live, it will go into your listings as a coming soon. And then you go in and you add an open house on that. Okay. Yeah. Great. So um, another really great. So to clarify yeah. to everyone, this is hooked up right now to the Arizona Regional Multiple Listing yes. Service. It does cover all of Maricopa County and all of the areas that Armless covers. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it does. Right. And anybody outside of the area, um, really it's just armless right now because we do verify agency, which is really great for realtors, meaning you cannot be a for sale by owner. Um, you must be a, an armless member and a realtor in order to right. put an open house right. on our property. And this will be a national product down the yes, road. It it's just yes. that those, um, it will grow as you connect additional MLSs. Yes. And, um, be on the lookout for future webinars or podcasts on this down the road. But right now let's just keep focusing on Phoenix, yes. Phoenix agents. Cause this is a real treat for Phoenix agents. I mean, it's a real uh, benefit. It yes. isn't available anywhere else in the country. Right Other MLSs so are already wanting it. Hop so. on it first. All the MLSs <laughs> are, are wanting, wanting it. it. And are. I would hop in on the so price as well, because early. it will definitely gotcha. uh, go up when it goes national. Right. So, all right. Um, so let's keep on talking about like on back, um, on the consumer side, yes. is there, yeah. so what that, um, is doing on the consumer side is on this website, an agent can just, or a customer can just put in a zip code. Yeah. It's going to go pull up that zip code mm -hmm. or pull up all the open houses. Then they're, they're yes. that area. 
And um, another thing that is great as well, as I'm sure some other platforms have, um, but the consumer interface is very, very friendly. Um, obviously it shows them what open houses that they can also go in here to their uh, filters and they can see all the active listings as well without seeing just open houses. Can they save open houses? They can, can save they them. To create yep. a little bit of an yep. So you, you can actually go, um, into an open house and let's just click on this one and you can go in here as a consumer. I'm logged in as a realtor, but you can do this as well. So you can go here and you can add it to my list. So gotcha. once you add it to your list, then you'd go up here and it shows you all of your upcoming open houses that you've saved, mm -hmm. um, which is great for planning over the weekend. So a consumer could go on here a week early and they can actually look at their, um, what open houses are coming up on the weekend and they can actually plan their weekend. And then on Saturday morning, they can actually go and do that. Yeah. Perfect. All right. You keep running them through my yep. laptop's I running. I saw that. <laughs> Yes, and another great tool that we offer, which is um, which uh, consumers have really liked, is you can take a draw tool. And a lot of home buyers right now don't want to sell their house until they find a house because the inventory is so low. So they might want to live in a specific neighborhood or area, and they want to know what's coming on the market. Um, so what's great is a consumer can actually, well, anybody can, even an agent that has a home buyer in a certain area. Now that we have all the coming soons, I had an agent come up to me and be like, I want to go on this because I have my home buyers are looking for homes and I'm trying to find off market properties, right? So it's a great way for agents and consumers. But um, so you can go in here and you could, let's say you wanted to be in Greyhawk. So you could actually take the draw tool. You could draw a box around Greyhawk. And then you could hit save. And uh, when you go over to save your search, here we go, where's save my search? Try and find it, oh, there we go. Um, and then you could hit save your search. And let's say that this would be Greyhawk, right? Right. Um, and then you'd hit this weekly, let's say, and then you save it. Every time now a new open house is posted in Greyhawk, the home buyer will get a ping notification on their phone. It'll say a new open house is now posted in Greyhawk. A new open house is posted in Greyhawk. So they are notified every time an open house goes on the and market. And if they want to take action on those properties that are mm -hmm. in there, that is going directly to those listing agents. Yes. Or if it's the day of an open house, it's going to... The, the listing or agent. the open house whatever agent. they okay. but it's in control well, the, the listing, listing agent, agent has complete control gotcha. over that so okay. some agents that have teams um might want to put their team agent on there all week so right. that they get all the leads and they get to communicate with the Perfect. with the client um so that's a that's a way that consumers can you know find open houses that way and save them um they can also go back so also we have a great feature if you click on it um we have one of the best mapping features we, we actually have a really, really um, high-end technology on the pictures. Our pictures are very detailed, um, high-res. So the images are always super clear, super crisp, unless you know an agent takes them with their phone. You never know, right. <laughs> <laughs> which we know we're not supposed to do. Um, yeah. But if you hit the car button, which is great, you can also do this on the app, drives you right to the house. Okay. So they could be at lunch and they could be, they could open up the app. They could say, oh, let's see if there's any open houses nearby. Then they open it, they could click on it and they say, oh, it's only 10 minutes away. Let's go back there. So, right. And then that they can immediately go back to the, the property. Um, something else, which is great. And well, that's this tool. There's also, you can have the open houses are not only mapped, but they're also here on the side. Um, they can just scroll right. and see all the different properties as well. I love it. All right, let's dig into the agent side a little okay. bit and then let's come back and let's pull up your phone Perfect. and dig into yes. the app. Perfect, yes, the app is okay. fantastic. Yes, right. so in all of this, everything that I've shown you so far, you can do on your phone, which is fantastic. You can do okay. anything you want um, on the app. The only thing you cannot do as of yet, which will be available, is the, this part. This is a great way for you to keep tabs on your clients. So you can actually copy and paste this client link here. You can text it or email it to your clients and then it will email them a link to our website. When they download the website or they click on this link, it goes and they're actually branded to you. Okay. So when they sign up and they create an account, they now, it will say that they are represented by 
Shannon Quagliata. Okay. So then I can actually go in to one of my clients and I can see any open house that they checked into. I can see any open houses that they saved. They have uh, favorites, any of their saved searches. And when they go to a house, if they take notes on it, our app allows them to take notes on the open houses as they leave. They're pinged with, hey, do you want to keep your feedback on this property? It's a great way for a home buyer to keep track of the houses that they're in. But I can also see um, what houses that they have liked and which ones they haven't, and it'll show you what their feedback is. So then Looks I can reach out to either the listing agent, the open house agent, or I could reach out to my client and say, hey, you went right. to this open house over the weekend. It's a great way when you have passive buyers who don't want you to sit in the car with them all day because they don't know where they want to live, right. um, where you can actually send them an open house and be like, hey, here's an open house I found on pre-open house. Go check it in. Make sure you check in when you get to the open house because that open house agent will now know you're represented by me. Right. Great way to pre um, you know, preserve agency as well. That's great. Yep. I love that. Um, and then my leads tab, this is where every single person who comes into your open house and they check in. So when you go to your open house, you have an event. Um, this is an example of what the event summary looks like. So you'll have um, a number of people who have saved it. So interested, any person, if you notice when I just added it to my list, mm -hmm. if anybody adds it to their list, they show up in the interested column. So okay. all week you could see that there's 25 people that have saved your open house, which is fantastic. Um, and then you can also see once they have checked in, you'll be able to see how many are represented or how many are not represented. When they check in, it shows you that their name and you now capture them in the My Leads platform. They come into here. Got it. So at the end of an open house, you can take notes on them. You can say who you contacted. If you got their email address, phone number, you can enter it all in here and then you can export that directly to your CRV or well, CRM. Well, and you have some good feedback there with the positives and, you and have negatives great too. Feedback. Yes. Right. Which... Well, so yes. Yeah, so then you can also export the, this entire report mm -hmm. to your seller. Sure. Yep. The Share end of, seller. and every person who checks in, which is why you want them to check in on the app. You really want them to check in on the app um, and say, you know, download the app, check in. It's where all the open houses are. I'd love you to check in on our app right. because one, you get the instant line of communication with them. Right. And two, they will get a ping notification when they leave to ask for feedback. Right. So they will give you instant feedback the minute that they walk out the house. It actually, it happens the minute that they check in. So they could be walking around the house, giving you feedback at the same time all on their phone. Excellent. Yep. So uh, is there anything else you want to show more online right now before we go to your phone? Um, let's go share your phone. Let's pull up the app. I think that's about it. And I would like to show them what the messaging platform looks like. So here's what the messaging platform looks like. Um, if you are messaging, messaging like text messaging, instant messaging, it, what are it's you, in a, email? the messaging platform okay. where they hit the contact agent button. I need to get code. This is where it comes into your messages. Got it. And it has a picture of the property and it has, I need the gate code. You can instantly text them back and they will instantly get a ping notification that they've messaged you back or that you've messaged them. And that's way you can actually keep track of all the houses um, that, or what house that they've actually messaged you on with a picture of the house and the open house as well. So and if the I'm, a, name. I'm a consumer right mm -hmm. now, yep. if I want to um, go find this, I just go to the app store yep. and I put in pre open house yes. and I can just download the app. Yes. Three words. Okay. Pre open house. Pre open house. Yes. It's tried here, but uh, while you're doing that, what else? Is there anything else you want to share with everyone? Look at that. Um, it comes right up. There it is. And right here, I hit get and uh download it right to my phone <laughs> there you go double click let's see here awesome All there right. it goes so, so good yes. you want to uh that messaging is pretty powerful yeah i like it it is all right so uh, let's go log on let's go change okay. real quick i'm going to do a new share here let's go see if we can pull up your phone let's hit share and uh here come up there you go there All right. Is. Everybody knows my password. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. So okay. Th this is what the platform looks like today. Um, as you can see, it looks very similar to the website. Um, this is the agent platform. So again, you have the event manager, which essentially has any open house that you have coming up. You're going to see here. 
any uh, available open house within your brokerage will show up here. And then what's really great is you can actually keep track of your past open houses as a listing agent and an open house agent. So if I'm a listing agent, these are all my past open houses. And if I click on them, it's going to tell me who the open house agent was in right. case I didn't remember. Right? right. So, and then it'll also give me the, the feedback on that property on that open house that day. Right. Um, so that is what you can. And so this is also the agent platform. You go to my listings. Um, it's going to have all of the houses that you currently have on the market. And this is where you can create an event or you can add, as you see here, a coming soon listing. You can do all of this from your phone. Right. So I can be in front of a house and I could be like, you know what? I'm going to hold this open house on Saturday. It's coming on the market. It's not going to be on the market till next week. I could be in front of the house, enter all this information. I could take a picture of the house and I could enter it up and it will go live on our website in real time. That's something that's really different from our site as well as we are in real time. So if you have a cancellation, a time change, anything changes about your open house that you want to message consumers about or you want to talk about or that you need to cancel an open house because <laughs> okay, a dog so is hang sick. On. You just solved it. You just solved the problem when yes. mistakes happen. So I just had this flashback of like, you know, being one digit off on, yes. on yes. something and it's like the day of the event and you're like, Oh my goodness, yes. how do I yes. get that out there? Yes. So literally like correct it right there and there it's like yeah. live. It's live. And, and okay. if anybody Great. has saved, your open house. Remember how you had right. added to my list? Yeah. If you have a cancellation, every single consumer that added it to their list will get a ping notification. You about the correction. It. Or, or yeah, about the okay. correction or the cancellation okay, that's great. in real time, wow. which is fantastic. We actually had, um, I saw an email come around uh, about six months ago, which I thought was really funny. And it was posted on Facebook and our email blast. And they said, whoever's holding so-and-so's open house on Saturday, and this was on Friday, Right. It got canceled. The seller has been has gotten sick. Whoever you are, call me. Like they didn't know who was holding their open house, and they didn't know. And then that poor agent's probably driving up, trying to you know, going to oh set God. up the open house, and the seller's inside in the wow. bathrobe, and they have no idea because the, the realtor has no way of keeping track. Right. And that was also a big thing. Is I had again, I had multiple open houses. I would, you know, put it on our Facebook page and somebody say, Hey, I want to hold your open house. I'd be like, great, hold it open. And then I'd have somebody else. And then on Saturday, I'm like, I don't remember which one was who's which. holding yeah, exactly. what or anything. Right. So, um, right. so this is a great way as a realtor, you can keep track. If I go into my event manager and I have all my upcoming open houses, you can actually see, um, who is holding them and keep track of that. Which so is what if, so. so, um, so I just downloaded it right yeah. here. I have the new app right here. So I see search, I see my list, my favorites messages, yep. and I've got, you know, sign in register. So obviously I have to go in and create an account and everything first. Or yes. I really yes. should. Yep. And then after that, um, can I also search for you by name? Like if I yes. know. So, so if you go here, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to sign out. So there's two ways you can invite your client with the link that okay. is on our my clients tab, which you can only do on the website right now. Can you invite me or do I have to do an account first? No, so I can invite you without okay. you even having an account. So right. I can actually well I can actually invite you. Let's say via I was going to text gonna, or email. How would you um, do it? Um I it will be it's actually done via email right now. Okay. We will have text available within the next week. Gotcha. Um so okay. I'm going to I'm going to invite you on the platform here. here I'm gonna do it like I'm gonna this. go here in the website I give okay. you my personal email here okay. and this is it right here so yeah so I'm gonna there copy go. this link and then do you have a, your email up here I know that I can type yeah. it in here real quick so where do I, where I just do I type copied it? that link mm -hmm. so then I will it let me email that to you so where do I, where do I? I already copied the, the links. So you just have to email it to you now. Oh, you mean like? Yeah, I have to like, email it. We don't have the uh, capability from the app for me to email it to you yet. Oh, got invite it. Invite you, but. Okay. But I would just open up my email. You I don't open, open up your up email, email and it'll got, download right to personal. it. Okay, so, good. Um, okay. So then All right. right here though, what would happen is when you register, okay, it says I am working with a realtor. Right. And then you would just enter in their name. Gotcha. So let's say I'm going to put my own name in there, which is fine because that's whatever. Um, and 
or that they do not have an agent. But if you search by name, then, th then it'll tell you what. Um, gotcha. And then you connect to that realtor. Okay. Oh, the, the app's not up anymore. Right. They're not seeing it. Okay. So. Um, oh, that's right, because we switched. Did yeah. we switch back over? Well, we hang did. on. We switched over Actually, to Actually, the... we were still watching. Oh, there we go. See, we're still there sharing we go. All, okay. right. All right. So, yeah. So, when you register, you can register here. Right. And as you can see, it'll say, I'm working with a realtor. And yeah. then all they have to do is search by your name. Gotcha. And I could put my name in. Um, and it is going to be broker specific. Gotcha. So, they're not going to get the entire database of realtors in all of Arizona. They would just right. get a home smart agent. Okay. that would match your name. So it's a little bit easier of a database as right. opposed to having to look at the entire MLS. Perfect. Um, and okay. then when they find your name, they attach to you. And then now when they've created an account, they are now showing up in your My Clients tab. That's amazing. Yeah. And they're attached to you. Yes. All right. But well, you can, I can send them a direct my, link. My mind yes. is spinning <laughs> about all the different ways that this can Becoming be used. So, so uh, you yes. are coming to all the regional events. So you're yes. going to the weekly or the, to the monthly meetings. Uh, throughout the valley, so East Valley, uh, corporate, um, uh, West Valley, and then uh, Elite. Yes. And um, on top of it, you know, you do have a whole team. I've been working with your team. Yes. You have a great, you have a nice, amazing team. They're great. So, uh, what what's the what's the cost? How does an agent begin to use the the agent side of the tools? Well, this is what's great for HomeSmart. Is okay. right now HomeSmart has upgraded the entire brokerage for the month of September for free. There is no cost for every single home smart agent wow. in Arizona to use the premium platform, which means now when we go on the on our app, um, every single home smart agent has a contact agent button. Okay. So it will say contact agent on every single home smart house that is Amazing. automatically pulled in. So okay. what I'm encouraging home smart agents to do is we are getting a lot of consumer traffic right now. And if you haven't created an account on our app, you won't know if a consumer is trying to message you. So number one, go download the app. Download the create app. Create an account create on the your, app. Create your agent do I, account for do free. Do I then need to go create one online? Nope. Or just They're through the app? They're, They're directly connected. connected. Okay. So you can create it either on the app directly or you can create it on the website. Okay, so right now, action item, homework. Just yes. go download from the uh, Apple Store. Uh, also, is it Google Play? Yep, and on Google, Google Play. Play as well. Go yes. download the app. Set up your free account. Set up your free account right away. Dig in. Start to use the tool. Come to the get regional some more meetings. On there. Learn. Get some more purple <laughs> on there. I like it. Well, actually, um, I was looking at a report the other day. Uh, in the last month, it is even uh, heated up. Yes. Uh, especially yes. in some pockets um, yes. of town. There, I am. Um, so, I'm yeah. in the heat of it even still. I'm so sure I have are. an app, and I'm still a okay. realtor, and I right. I know when a house comes on the market, and that's another great thing is being able to, you know, pre-market a property before it goes on the market right now, because right. you want, you want to get the feedback and you know how to sell the house. So if you're right. not holding your own open house for a coming soon listing right. on that Saturday, you're giving away, you're awesome. giving away leads. So awesome. Okay. So then here's what we're going to do. All of you, uh, home smart agents, go sign go download the app, sign up, start using, create your free account, start using the tool. And then Shannon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you back in on a Friday someday yes. oh, when it's uh, loaded full of open houses <laughs> and let's do a, yes. uh, another webinar. Let's dig in a little bit more okay. and let's talk about some different results. I'll try to find some agents. Agents, if you want to reach out to me real quick, let me know you're using the app. Give me some, some great stories that I can share then with other agents about tactics you've used using the tool as yes. well as um, just testimonial stories of how it's, how it's benefited you, then we want to share that with the rest of the community. I think so, something else I didn't touch on, if I have a second to touch on it yeah. too, which is what we were talking about, is if you are, um, you want to, now that you are branded to this open house, especially Home Smart in the month of September, it doesn't cost you anything, you want to share this open house on your social media platforms because if anybody oh. goes and clicks on it, they go directly to pre-open house and they go directly to you for the first time. There's no other way. So you just hit the share button. You go to your Facebook and you can go to Facebook. You could enter a little something into it and then it posts directly to it. And then if somebody clicks on the house on your Facebook, you can even, Hold boost, the phone. You can even boost your Facebook <laughs> ad right. to a certain demographic, which I know Facebook has a little bit of rules now for that. 
every single person who clicks on it goes directly to pre open house to your okay. open house. Instagram too. Yep. Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook and, Twitter. and Twitter. Yep. Anywhere you want to share it, you can share it in an email blast as well. You could share it anywhere. So there you go. Great, great thing. That, and I forgot to tab on that because we that's a great way for the earlier. first that's, time yeah. to that you can actually really, I mean, talk about, we are marketing this to consumers so that they will find your open house. Now you can market it to your sphere, right. only brand it to you. Right. So, and especially as an open house agent, this is a great way to get branding and just say, Hey, this is this open house I'm holding this weekend. Come in yep. and see me. Might not be their listing, but they're promoting that house. And as a listing agent, I would be encouraging an open house agent to do that. So I encourage all of you log in, go download the application, give it a try for the next 30 days. Yep. Let's say after 30 days though, or after the trial is over, mm -hmm. um, then what happens? An agent pays a, a monthly it's only fee and they a month. upgrade. And HomeSmart but, will be getting a discounted price. But, so. but put that in a perspective. I oh. like, you know, all of you agents that I talk about building a budget, putting a marketing budget together, having a line item for that budget and then put next to it. I always put how many homes can I sell yep. using this tool, track it. Absolutely. And one average home, 225, three, you know, right here. And you get one uh, buyer, you get one buyer, one buyer. you've gotten you've your, all your money for, back. Yeah, so you got, got your a, money back for 12 months. Yeah. You got Absolutely. a four no to $600 Can't do that line item for the year. For, great return on investment. Yes, absolutely. Right. Not, trying to sell you something, but yet wanting you to know what's out there and wanting to use these tools. And to me, that's not, that's not selling you something that is you actually putting a tactic in place in your business, putting a budget there, executing on it, and then getting a great return on investment. So my question is, is why wouldn't you, why right. wouldn't you use this <laughs> no, tool? Especially when I we know it so I can how, use it. <laughs> exactly. I know. No, so, that, but that's also know. open houses. I, I it is, it is, so powerful what Absolutely. open house marketing does and this is just a great way to tap into that power so come to the open house classes go watch the online open house webinars watch this webinar stay tuned for a future webinar with shannon we're going to dig into this a little bit more but thank you for being here today yes, thank you for and, having me um, for open housing Really, and thank you for the free 30 days for all the HomeSmart yes, agents. Yes, absolutely. We're excited so, to get HomeSmart going, for awesome. sure. So HomeSmart so. agents, take advantage of that then right away. So thank you all for listening. Keep an eye out for a future episode. I'm Todd Sumney, Chief Industry Officer here at HomeSmart. And thank you, Shannon, for being here. If people wanted to reach you yes. or your sales team, yes. how do you recommend they do it? If like, Is there... A phone number, an email, a website, what do you want them to go they to? They can email support desk okay. at preopenhouse.com okay. okay. or they can just email me directly. I'm taking a lot of personal emails right now with questions because obviously I created it. I right. know how to answer them. Um, and that's just Shannon at preopenhouse.com. There you go. Absolutely. Sorry. All right. Well, Shannon, again, thank you for being here today. You're welcome. And to all of you home smart agents, we'll see you around on future episodes. See you all soon. Right. Like what you're hearing on the real estate? Tell your friends about us. Tell them to check out all of our episodes on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and Spotify. And don't forget to send any topics you want us to tackle to the real estate at homesmart.com.